This legal saga could turn to what was expected to be a political landslide into a tightly contested race. His challenger, Amar Kapanajar, finished about 30 points behind Hunter in the June primary, but it could be much closer come November. 10 News reporter Jennifer De La Cruz spoke to the Democrat earlier today, and Jennifer, he's actually calling on Duncan Hunter to step down. Yeah, Lindsay, well, Amar Kampanajar has historically been behind in this race, but this indictment could change everything. I spoke with him one on one today. He tells me Duncan Hunter needs to take responsibility for his actions and that the people of this district deserve much better. 48 pages of allegations against Congressman Duncan Hunter don't come as a surprise to his opponent. I think it underscores what we've known is Duncan Hunter thinks he's above the law. He's In a one on one interview with 10 News, Democratic candidate Amar Kampanajar says this is all part of the corruption in Washington. I didn't inherit a congressional seat from my daddy and I don't sell my votes in Washington to the highest bidder. The incumbent representative and his wife indicted on charges of fraud and campaign finance violations of more than $250,000. And I think, you know, trying to enrich himself at the expense of his donors and pawning it off as some generosity, that's a problem. Camp in a jar says one of the things that surprised him the most were the negative comments he allegedly made towards the military. I was a little bit surprised by his comments about the Navy. I think him attacking our justice system. I mean, he's supposed to be the, the law and order congressman. He says the allegations are so severe that Hunter should step down. I think it's best for him to bow out. I don't think he'll do it because he doesn't have a track record of making the right decision, clearly. That's why he's here. Duncan's campaign released a statement saying the whole thing is a political stunt. His challenger says otherwise. And then he blames other people for the campaign finance problems. He needs to take responsibility. That's, I think it's time that there's someone that brings national pride to this district and not national shame. Hunter is set to be arraigned in federal court tomorrow. Camp in a jar tells me he's going to be there. Reporting live, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News. What a wild day that will be. All right, Jen, thank you. Our